Hey guys, I'm GPEX Alarm 101, and this is the Thanksgiving special. Expensive if you don't. All right. Whoa, this is, this is huge. But, and I know my camera is seeing it backwards for me, but wow. So what makes this video so special? Well, it's the fact that I'm actually making a video today. Um, as you can see, I have a really messy setup here, but I've got the uh, i12000. Here's a few little sneak peeks of what could be in System Test 16. This isn't really the final thing, but there's been some major changes to this. Um, yeah, there's been just some major changes here. I think you guys will like them. Anyway, that's not the that's not the point. Uh, the point of today's video is that I'm going to be doing a review, which I haven't done before, but I hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless. Well, let's get started. So what are we reviewing today? Today we are reviewing the ESL 541 NB. The ESL 541 NB is a spectacular four-wire smoke detector. It is photoelectric and has several features, even though it doesn't really look like it has them. You can test this detector via a magnet, which I will be demonstrating later. The LED has some pretty special functions. One of those functions, of course, is to indicate that it is actually powered and, and working correctly. The second feature is when you test it with a magnet, it will blink a certain number of times to determine the sensitivity level of the sensor. If it, it blinks between four to six times, for four to seven times, your detector is where its sensitivity level is normal. If it's below that or above that, it needs to be cleaned. So it has a self-maintaining feature. Other models of this detector in particular also have sounders, temperature sensors, extreme heat and extreme cold sensors, and other gas sensors inside them. This just happens to be the basic commercial version of this detector. Let's go ahead and test out this detector just to see how it works. So let's go ahead and see the sensitivity testing with the magnet. Two, three, four, five. Normal sensitivity. And as you can see, it alarms the system immediately after. The LED turns a solid red to indicate that there is an alarm. Let's go ahead and silence the system. As you can see, the system is silenced with two-wire silence. You guys know this already. I am running these on two wires, the commanders. Now let's have a look and see the inside of this detector. It is a head determined detector, it is head wire. As you can see, 541NB by ESL. This is also made by GE or General Electronics, or General Electric, something like that. And there you go. I do have a resistor in there, even though that's not doing anything right now. If I were to remove these wires, the panel would not go into supervisory. I did get rid of the end of circuit module sneak peek. And I set it back to the normal kind of thingy. All right. All in all, this is a very versatile detector. And to give this thing a rating, five being an absolute must-have for a collection, and a one being a you should avoid at all cost. I'd say this is around a three and a half. Though it is four wire and it's very versatile, 
there are still some kinks in the in the design of this. There are a few like problems when you're wiring this up. Uh, it does require the 24 volts. It's kind of mean that it requires multiple more wires to do the same thing, but there are two wire versions of this. My panel just does not support two wire detectors. This detector, the only thing I wish it would do more is have a um a uh, supervisory a self maintenance thing that did not require you to test in order to see maintenance and that it would send that to the panel much like an i3 would to um a firelight or a notifier panel anyway that should be it for this review i'm jpex alarm 101 and i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more reviews in the future of devices that i have make sure to let me know in the comments below I will be making a collection video around Christmas time so that you guys can see what devices that I have available to review. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Remember to rate, comment, like, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video. I'm Alarm 101